Parole doesn't mean you're free now without any conditions. There are parole conditions, and so now you are, you you have some um, freedom, but it's a freedom that is very much conditioned, and you are under supervision and monitored to ensure that you have a gradual, safe reintegration into society because ultimately we want society to be safe while also ensuring that we bear in mind the, the interest in rehabilitating inmates and we can't just throw pe people in prison and forget them forever. That's just not the system that we have. Um, and so uh, the concern right now is that it doesn't seem that that is being systematically applied at the, at the parole and we are not even able to know how decisions are being made if you're not giving reasons. And I will tell you, if it is that I that I get a file or I get a, a um, an inmate whose parole was denied and there's an obvious very recent infraction that was violent, well, okay, you know why it was denied, right? Um, and again, that infraction is a violent infraction. I don't, it's obviously beyond reasonable for the parole board to deny that inmate parole. So these are applications where they are not very recent infraction, at least to the knowledge, my knowledge or to the knowledge of the inmate, that there are any infractions or there are anything to indicate that is an ongoing risk. So that's why this, this is the cause for concern. Not that all inmates, once they're parole, once they're eligible for parole, are absolutely entitled for parole, no. But these applications are unique in the sense that from our vantage point, we're not able to discern what is the cause for concern. And because we don't have access to that process or access to the reason, we're not able to know what was the cause for concern on the parole boards.